What's up guys? Welcome to your 13 tutorial. Um, sorry if I slur my words in this tutorial. There's a good reason for that. I'll let you figure it out yourself. But basically, we're just going to kind of polish up what we did with this uh, graphical layout. What we want is this gravity to be in the center of the first 50% of the screen. So it's going to be at the 1 fourth mark. And we want the style to be at the 3 fourths mark, which is in the center of the second half of this width. So how we do that, we're going to grab the graphical layout, or the gravity layout, and our graphical layout. And then we're going to go over to something called weight. Because we, what the weight is, is the percentage of the total available whatever. Whatever it is located at. So basically, right now we have it wrapped the content of the height. But the width is for the whole screen. So we want the gravity to have 50% of the whole width. And to do that, we're going to go into the miscellaneous properties of the graphical layout and type 50 for 50%. And we're also going to grab the style and say, hey, we want 50% of this too. And then, bam, looking pretty right now. And yours got, your guys' is probably won't be in the center right now. It'll probably be off to the left here, and this one will be off to the left as well. The reason mine isn't is because I changed the gravity of these to center on both. So you want to go down to gravity, click the center button, bam! Now you're in the center. And you also want to do that for the gravity if you haven't done that already. And basically, we're, we're going to want it to the buttons to take up 50% of the screen, too, for the width. So we're going to grab this whole group first. And then we're going to go down to gravity as well. Or uh, we're going we're gonna to go up to weight as well and type in 50%. And then we're going to try and grab uh, this left group. Basically, if you grab the left group first, it's going to take up the whole screen, and then you can't really grab this group. So you want to start right to left, and then same with up here, probably. But uh, we're going to grab this one and set the weight to 50% as well. And I'm getting kind of a messed up error right now, so that's probably saying that I didn't set up my... Uh, I didn't fill the parent for this on the width. So we're going to go into the XML and just kind of check this out real quick. Basically, I'm going to go down here and look at my linear layout. Or, I'm sorry, I'm going to look at my radio groups. And for the width, I'm going to change this to fill parent. I don't know if you guys this is fill parent or not. Just change it because it will be so much better. This one, for some reason, is already filled parent, but you want that one to be filled parent as well. And then when we go back to the graphical layout, it should look pretty much like we want. Also, for some reason, this isn't working for me right now. And we're going to change the text size of this so it just fits on one line instead of two lines because that looks pretty stupid. So we're just going to go down here to... Uh, the text size of that text view and change it to like 20 and we'll check that out bam now we got everything on the line we might want to center that as well so I'm going to do that the simple way and use this properties thing over here and go to gravity center if I can find it gravity right there click that little thing brings up your preferences center BAM alright and also that's not being centered right now because it's probably not set up as fill the, v fill the width so we're going to check that out real quick make sure everything is cool with that yep width is wrap content we don't want that fill Parent. 
uh, hit enter for some reason. All right, save it. Go to graphical layout, and it should be looking perfect. There we go. That's pretty much the end of the tutorial. But I'm gonna go to paint and just kind of describe what we laid out here in a little bit, hopefully easier fashion. I don't know. This might be more confusing. So basically, what we did is we set up a linear layout and we set it up on pretty much the left side that doesn't really matter this is our first linear layout and everything that happens is going to happen on this linear layout because this covers all of our other layouts within the XML and then basically what we did is we added an edit view in the edit view wrap the width content or filled the parent content so bam there's our edit view and then what we did is we're like hey I want another linear layout but this time I want horizontal so bam we made a horizontal linear linear layout right there and now everything that we add is gonna go like this but we only added two things so it'd be like this our style and our gravity or gravity and our style what however it went but we didn't like that so we wanted to set some we want to set our weight so we set both at 50 percent so this is the 50 percent mark right here and then what we did is we added our text in the center so go I want the center of this 50 percent and we're gonna add our text view right here and our other text view we set 50 percent so we're gonna add it right here and then what we did is we set up another linear layout horizontally and it went like this and then our radio group went vertically if you remember so it's gonna be like BAM and then on the vertical scale we're gonna lay out one radio button two radio buttons three radio buttons and then we also set up because we had a 50 percent margin right there too so we also set up another vertical radio group and bam 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 those are our three radio buttons so basically that's kind of how it's looking so far and then what we did is we set up a text view that would start right here but we said we want it to be centered so right here is going to be our text view that we set up and then we also set up just a button that filled the width excuse me filled the width all the way and there's our button and that's basically the graphical layout of our next program that we're gonna actually go into Java and set up but I don't know if this confuse you now that I'm looking at it right now it looks pretty confusing but if it didn't I'm glad it helped you and see you guys in the next tutorial thanks again for watching give me those thumbs up peace